Brian turned to glance at the pilot, who suddenly had both hands on his stomach and was grimacing in pain. I don't know, kid. The pilot's words were a hiss, barely audible. Bad aches here. Bad aches. He stopped as a fresh spasm of pain hit him. The pilot was having a heart attack. Brian saw the pilot slam into the seat one more time. One more awful time he slammed back into the seat, and his right leg jerked pulling the plane to the side. Brian was sitting in a bush plane roaring 7,000 feet above the northern wilderness with a pilot who had suffered a massive heart attack and who was either dead or in something close to a coma. He was alone. In the roaring plane, he was alone. The plane, committed now to crashing, fell like a stone, and Brian eased back and braced himself for the crash. Explore new worlds. Find out what happens next by reading the book Hatchet by Gary Paulson. For other great book ideas, visit literacy.gov. A message from the Library of Congress and the Ad Council.